Here's an interesting wrench I just acquired. It's called a lightning wrench for pipe and nuts. Pipe and nut wrench. Uh, the company is called William Yorth, but it's spelled H J O R T H. But the uh, best I can figure, William Yorth is the uh, correct pronunciation. It's in pretty good shape. Uh, it's a, it's a multi wrench. It's got a lot of different uses. I'll, uh, but the, the it does have a lot of scratching and scoring on it. I don't know what that's from. It looks like not so much somebody hitting on a wrench to make it turn. Looks like they might have used it as a hammer or used it to bang on something. A lot of scarring on the face of it. Of course, we'll uh, smooth it. Take care of that. The edges are a little, a little sharp. We'll smooth those down, and uh, this will be a nice, nice wrench. It's got one chunk out of it here. We'll uh, see what we can do about addressing that. But interesting wrench, combination wrench uh, for pipes, square nuts. It's got a wire cutter. It's got a screwdriver and a pry bar here, and of course a nail puller on this side. So it's got the uh, several different uses we'll be back with the a restoration next is the lightning wrench and uh, here's the patent on it from 1903 and this wrench was again designed for square nuts round stock and it was called a pipe and nut wrench the original patent was in 1893 and the only change made was this pivot nut here, or this pivot rivet, pivot point. And they moved it and centered it and made it flat. I'll show you the wrench and we'll discuss the, the details on it. And here we are with the finished item. And uh, of course that one cleaned up very nicely. And as I mentioned before, it was made for square stock and a uh, square nuts and round stock, a combination wrench, and it had a nail puller, a screwdriver, pry bar, and a wire cutter. So it had a lot of different uses. But the the owner designed this wrench for one thing, and that was to have one simple small wrench you could put in your pocket and uh, easy to get too easy to handle but would do a decent job and the reason they made the change in it by flattening this item was to make it real smooth and flat so it just slid in and out of the pocket easier that was the whole purpose of that rather than the round dome headed pivot before and here's a look at the operation of the final wrench again like I mentioned smooth uh, the idea going, it's easy to get it in and out of your pocket and easy to carry, but multifunctions with the wire cutters and screwdriver, pry bar, nail puller, and of course the jaws designed for round stock and hex nuts. Here's how it works on round stock. Just grips and turns. You can see how the little jaws on here angle to bite into the material when you grip it and turn it. Of course, to turn it the other way, you've got to flip the wrench over. The other use for this item would be hex nuts, not hex nuts, but square nuts. Square nuts is what was standard for this era. You can see how that it grips in there. Fit, nut fits right in there and, and the flat goes against the other side so it does a good job probably not on major large items more like what you would do with a pair of pliers a little stronger than a pair of pliers but a good item 
Finished nicely. Had a few dings left. Couldn't get out without really taking all the finish off. So we polished it up, smoothed the edges where it feels better in hand. And turns into a nice little wrench. Unusual item. Glad to have it in the collection. Thanks for watching.